The highly anticipated Redmi K20 Pro is finally here and it's a banger. The phone packs in flagship specification at a very competitive price point, making it an absolute no-brainer for those who are looking for a great new smartphone. So if you are interested of getting one for yourself or you have already gone ahead and ordered it, then this video is for you. Hi guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and today we'll be taking a look at some tips and tricks for the all new K20 and K20 Pro, which will help you to make the most out of your new device. So let's get right into it. To kick things off, let's first talk about the pop-up selfie camera of this phone. Much like other devices with a similar camera setup, the K20 Pro and the K20 packs in some cool sound effects to go along with the camera movement. However, you may face some difficulty changing them as the setting is hidden in an unconventional location. To change the pop-up camera sound effect though, open up the setting app, jump into the additional settings option and then select the front camera effect. In this menu, you'll not only be able to change the sound effects, but also configure the pop-up animation that goes along with it. Pretty cool, right? While we are on the topic of animations, there's another setting that you should check out. Now, I'm sure that you guys already know that the phone packs in an in-display fingerprint scanner. And when you will use this fingerprint scanner, you notice that it is also accompanied by a nice animation. But did you know that you can change this animation? To do so, jump into the lock screen and password settings, tap on manage fingerprints, enter the pattern or password and then select fingerprint animation in the following menu. You'll get four different animations to choose from along with another setting which will keep the fingerprint icon turned on even when the screen is off. You can turn it on if you want to make the fingerprint scanner a bit easier to locate. Next up, let's talk about the ambient display setting which will help you keep track of the incoming notification even when the screen is off. To enable it, head over to the display settings and select the ambient display option. Here you'll be able to turn on the always on display settings, configure the clock style and background for the ambient display and even set an automatic schedule for the always on display to turn on or off at specific times during the day. Now while we are on the subject of the display, there's another setting that you can turn on if you want to reduce eye strain while using the phone in low light conditions. Now this is called the DC dimming setting or the anti flicker mode in this case and can be found within the display settings of the phone. Just tap on the toggle button next to it to turn it on and you'll instantly notice that the screen doesn't flicker as much anymore. And not just that, the phone also features a system-wide dark mode that you can use to make nighttime usage even more comfortable. You'll find the option right below the anti-flicker mode. Just tap on the toggle and you are good to go. Now let's move on to one of the coolest feature in the K20 Pro, the all new gaming mode. To turn it on the first time, you'll need to open up the security app on the phone and then scroll all the way down to the game boost settings. You can add your games by tapping on the plus icon in the top left corner and once you've got that configured, the game mode will automatically pop up whenever you play any of the added games. Now there are a couple of handy features in the game mode settings that you should definitely check out, including some game based configuration which can be accessed by tapping on the additional settings and then selecting a game from the following menu. When you're in game, you'll be able to access the game mode overlay by swiping inwards from the left or the right corner depending upon the configuration. The overlay houses most of the essential features including performance boost, the native screen recording along with handy FPS counter, battery information and CPU usage statistics. Now moving on, the camera app on the K20 Pro also has a couple of handy features that you must check out. And there's a new dedicated 48 megapixel camera mode which you can use if you want to click larger photos for life size prints which means that you'll no longer need to dive into the settings if you want to take those 48 megapixel shots, you just need to swipe left or right. Next up, the camera app now includes seamless Google Lens integration. Now, instead of tapping on a button to activate Google Lens, 
you can just tap and hold your finger anywhere on the viewfinder and it will pop up instantly. Now to configure this option, head over to the camera settings and there you'll find the option where when you touch the screen, you can select from the AEAF lock or activating Google Lens. And once it's done, you can go ahead, long tap on the viewfinder and activate the Google Lens whenever you want it. Now, as you might already know that K20 and the K20 Pro come with three camera setups. One is a wide angle lens, one is a telephoto and the primary that is the Sony lens is the normal camera. Now, Xiaomi has simplified switching between these three lenses on your K20 and K20 Pro. Now, instead of tapping on the button to switch between the primary wide angle and the telephoto lens, you can just pinch to zoom in or zoom out. Check it out. It's cool, very seamless and useful. And finally, rounding things off is the automatic call recording feature that you can use if you want to keep a record of your conversation with any of the contacts. To turn it on, open up the dialer and tap on the menu button in the bottom. Then open up the call recording option to configure which calls you wish to record on your phone. You may either record all calls or choose specific contacts. However, it's worth noticing that recording calls without consent may or may not be illegal according to the law of the land. So it's best for you to check them before you enable this feature on your phone. So that's a wrap for this video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel because we are coming up with some more amazing videos about the K20 Pro that you would not want to miss. You should also follow us on Instagram to stay up to date on what's happening behind the scenes at Guiding Tech and take part in our exclusive giveaways. So guys, that's all. This is Ashish signing off and see you in our next video.